Many of us toss around the word culture like we do our business cards at a networking event. We know it's important. We're told that culture eats strategy for breakfast and that corporate culture is the only real sustainable competitive advantage within the control of the entrepreneur. We know that it has something to do with how it feels to be at work and that employee engagement and best places to work results are somehow affected. Or if you're into organizational design, you've seen quotes from gurus in the field say things like seven out of 10 organizations do not have the culture needed to be able to achieve future strategies. Yet one of the issues with culture is that we don't know how to define it, let alone how to create it. We also see culture as something different from the business. We hear things like, well, once we get the team in place, our strategy set and we're making budget, then we can start working on culture. As if culture building efforts were a perk, a reward, a benefit, not a tool to help us achieve company goals. If you ask someone in manufacturing, they tell you that lean process improvement and Six Sigma were a part of how they got their work done. I believe culture is the same. Culture is how we get things done, fueled by vision, values, and behavior. With this definition, now culture is a part of our work, not separate from the business. Under this definition, it becomes pretty clear that culture is always being created even if we don't proactively and consciously create it. So the smart organizations decide to make culture building a key strategy that is supported, funded, and measured because vision, values, and behaviors directly impact what we do. Some of the outcomes of a strong and healthy culture include individual and team resilience, high engagement, productivity, and retention results. Teams are more able to be high performing and productivity is higher than in other companies. Agility and innovation and creativity are strengths and customer service and community involvement are part of the company's brand. The well-being of people and encouraging connection expression, and pursuing a purpose interlaced with company goals is the backbone of a culture by design. This is why we see culture work touching all parts of the company and the community it serves. How do you build culture by design? We use many of the same, if not all of, the creative approaches in executive coaching, leadership, and team development strategic planning, and board of director development. Culture work is the full manifestation of individual team and organizational transformation. We believe that when people, teams, and organizations understand their purpose, acknowledge their truth, honor their intuition, and embrace connection, we have the power to transform the workplace and the whole of our lives. This is why we exist. This is why culture matters. By helping employees, leaders, teams, and organizations develop the mindset and skills to transform their culture, we believe the very fabric of our society is gradually repaired.